Hey guys, what's up? This is Jinx Rose, and welcome back to Starbound. When we left off, we built our first little house, crafting table, uh, fire, campfire, and our stone furnace. So, uh, and we got our tools. We got axes and pickaxes and stuff. Um, I cannot make any more torches just yet until I get another tree cut down. So that is going to be my goal right now. I also need food, so I probably will do some bow hunting here. And it's night time, so enemies are a lot more difficult. Oh god, I can't even see him. Okay, he's dead. And he gave me some raw alien meat, so I'll show you guys how to cook real quick. Where'd that raw alien meat go? There it is. So you just, you can shift click to move things from to and from areas and then we're gonna get our food over here we can put this away and this can go in here as well okay enjoy if you're a vegetarian toss it away and start planting crops it's time to craft a furnace you'll need to obtain some cobblestone a campfire and some coal if you'd like to know exactly how much of each you need access to crafting table untick materials available and mouse over the recipe to see its ingredients well I've already made a furnace but I can't really move on with the story until I make another one. So I'll do that eventually. For right now, I'm gonna grab some or grab some dirt. And we're gonna start a little garden here underneath this little overhang. Cause I'm not sure whether my my character should be a vegetarian or not. I mean, he is a flower guy, so I don't know. Would that be cannibalism? <laughs> Or would it be what he would do? It's hard to tell. There's some coal here. Definitely want that. Now I can craft some torches. Now I need some unrefined wood. So on this other side over here, we are going to plant uh, some trees. If it'll let me plant trees on snow, I've never tried it before. So let's try it. Yeah, it will. We're going to get some trees planted for sure. Because we're going to need them. And I'll just keep mining, even though I can't see, for a little ways. That should be good. And then I'm going to fill in this little hole with some dirt. <clears throat> That'll be perfect. Let's make a hoe, which I don't even think I can do yet until I get a tree grown. Because I need some planks. Yeah, I need some wooden planks. Okay, so let's go take care of this guy. Crap. There are a ton of enemies. Oh, I just burnt them though. That's cool. I like this axe. We found it right off the bat too. That was the coolest part. Okay, we got some trees. Sweet. Exactly what we need. And it's kind of dangerous to be walking around at night in the dark. Just because there's, like, cave entrances everywhere on the surface. So, keep that in mind. Daylight's coming soon, though. Alright, let's craft some... What do we need? We need planks. They're right here. We'll craft a ton of planks, and then we will make a hoe. And there's a lot of different ways to search. You can search here in the search bar. You can use these for different categories. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> I might actually just completely get rid of this mound here. In fact, yeah, that's, I've already started doing it, so I'm doing it. Because then I can just build up. Because eventually gardens will get big. Um, so you can kind of just build up and use platforms and stuff to make your garden bigger. Right now I only have six seeds, but eventually it'll be more. And you can get plant fiber from seed, or from plants that you've planted. Which you can make bandages out of. Which is cool. So planting is useful for a couple of different things, not just having some food to eat. I can collect all this. And Grab my hoe, which I have made. Yes. Okay. 
this over here, and we will just start hoeing some ground. I'm going to make all of this my farm. Just a massive, massive farm here. Um, the cool thing is you don't need water by it. You don't really need torches. I don't, I don't think torches uh, really affect it. It could. I could be wrong, but I'm... I'm pretty sure that they don't really affect it. Let's move our torches into our slot. There we go. I'm going to get a torch over here. And one right here. Or right there. Again, I'm not sure if it actually helps or not, but I like to be able to see it at least. So let's get our seeds planted. We got some wheat. And some bone boot. And I think that's it. I'm going to start smelting some ores. Silver ores and copper ores. And we'll see if... I don't think five copper is enough. For, um... Oh, well, I have to find iron before I can upgrade my thing anyway. My pickaxe. Because <coughs> you have to make an iron anvil. So, I'm going to go inside my house... I'm going to lay down a torch just right here. And we're going to place down our treasure chests. And depending on the way that your character's standing, that'll determine how you drop items on the ground when you place them. Or, no, that has nothing to do with the way your character's standing. It's just whether you press left or right like that. So that'll place like that. And this will place like that. Perfect. Some chests. So for right now, I'm just going to unload a bunch of stuff into my chest that I don't really need on me. I'm going to keep coal on me and all my iron and ores and stuff. You don't lose items when you die. You lose money when you die. So there's that. I'm going to try to get organized a little bit. <clears throat> and then so you, you can't you can buy items from merchants but they haven't set up selling stuff so usually if I have weapons that aren't as good as what I've got I'll just throw it into the trash so that's what I'm going to do <clears throat> which might kind of suck for later but if they do something major like that it'll probably be an update that forces you to wipe your game so not sure it'll matter anyway. I'm going to get these up here and we're going to make this look a little bit better. Like that. And this one has a wall but it's stone but that's fine. So. I like that. Oh. And also if you have a weapon. Oh jeez. I'm almost dead. Ha. <laughs> I'm just sitting here. My health next to nothing. So if, if you have a weapon like that. This axe, um, it's a two-handed weapon, and this axe can do... Let's get to it. If you left-click, it does the burning fire thing. If you right-click, it does a ranged attack that is like Sonic or something. So that's pretty cool. Depending on which buttons you press, you can actually get different results. So I'm going to move on, and we are going to get... You guys aren't friendly. The best thing you can do to find out if enemies are friendly or not is just walk toward them and they will just start jumping and chasing. So I need some more bandage stuff. So I'm going to come down in here and I'm going to collect these vines. Um, you can actually swim in this game, which is freaking awesome. You can't swim in Terraria. You just kind of sink to the bottom. And this one you can actually swim, which is really nice. I'm going to collect this coal here because we're going to need it. So we've got a good garden going. We've got a tree farm going. All of that's awesome. Here is a seed. That's a potato seed. So we're, I'm just going to go immediately plant that. So you can find seeds just sitting on the surface of planets. The more planets you explore, the more stuff you're going to find, obviously. Um... All that good stuff. Let's plant these. This. And then craft some bandages with that stuff that I just got. If you come down here and just type in like zero, zero, like a hundred, 
it'll then change to the max number that you can create of something. So we're going to move the bandages up here. So we have bandages, food, torches. Got everything we need. We're doing good. <clears throat> and again, if you want to switch between... I'm not sure if that's poison water or not. Poisonous water is green. If you want to switch between um, your pickaxe and your weapon fairly rapidly, just hit the X button. You can hit Z to switch between the right and left. So now if I hit X, I'll have the shield on me. And then if you hit Z, you can switch to the weapon. So X and Z switch between those things. Let's get down here and get some more of that vine. <coughs> If you attack lower than the top of the vine, you can still collect, but... Oh, crap. That's one problem that I've noticed, actually, is uh, when you switch to your axe, it takes a little while for you... Or to your weapon, it takes a little while for it to um, actually let you attack, which kind of sucks, but... Oh, well. And hopefully they fix that. I mean, this is still in beta. They've been releasing updates like crazy. I mean, the game's only been out for a little over a month, I think. And this is the seventh update. So they've just been releasing updates like crazy, fixing fixing bugs and problems. So little problems like that will be fixed in no time. But again, it may not affect this game unless I... Let's kill this guy with this bow. Oh, crap. Okay, got him. It may not affect anything if I don't update this this game. And I don't want to update because I might have to lose characters or the world that we're on or something. I don't want to do that. So, these things have pixels in them. You just attack them with your weapon is the easiest way. And let's lay down another torch down here. So, yeah, this game is really fun, though. Um... Hopefully when that garden gets going, I'll actually be able to make like a taller garden too. I'm going to collect a bunch of these. Because we need a lot of bandages. And the further you get, like the higher tiers you get to, because this game is separated into tiers, or groups of things, the higher tiers you get into, the more often you're going to need bandages, honestly. <clears throat> like at earlier tiers like this, you don't need it nearly as often. Come on, Vine. I just, I love the fact that you can swim in this. I really do. It's pretty nice. I don't know why Terraria hasn't added that as one of its features yet, but... Oh, God. I'm gonna have to eat. I wanted this guy to be a vegetarian, but I'm gonna have to eat. So, let's go check my garden real quick. Before I decide that I'm gonna eat the meat that I have on me. I'm talking like William Shatner right now, jeez. Oh god, every one of these is an enemy. Alright, let's... shield. And attack. And attack. Die already, jeez. Okay, the garden isn't done yet, so I'm gonna have to eat. I think I have some more raw meat. No point in this guy being a vegetarian. I'll just eat whatever I have on hand. It would have been interesting, but... Not gonna do it. Okay, crafting bandages. We're gonna make 41 bandages. And that literally is all this fiber is good for. I mean, you can make clothes later on when you get a yarn spinner, but... It's just like regular clothes. Um, leather is worth collecting, and you get leather the same way you get, uh, alien meat, basically. You just have to hunt with a bow to get it. Do I have any other seeds on me? Nope. Awesome. So, onwards. We're going to collect these pixels that these guys dropped for us. Pixels are worth having because it allows you to trade at villages and stuff, but also... Later on, we'll have to use pixels to craft things. Like, if we want a copper pickaxe, it takes pixels. If you want a silver pickaxe, it takes pixels. 
And you don't have to upgrade your axe or your hoe or anything. In fact, I don't even think they give you the option to do that. So like this one, I can't reach the top of the vine. So it leaves the top. It'd be nice if it uh, continued to grow, but it doesn't. So we're just going to have those little snippets there forever. Snippets? I guess that's a good word. I don't know. But those are just going to be there forever until we come down and harvest them. Oh, God, come on, jump. <clears throat> so I'm going to equip my bow and my axe so I can switch back and forth between them. Those guys were friendly. Let's see if they still are. Yep, they're still friendly. And what about these guys? Oh, nope, they're not friendly. They sound like sheep, which is weird. Crap, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. They're really fast. The enemies that come out at night are really fast. <laughs> I didn't... I couldn't survive that. There was no way. God dang it. The animations here are pretty cool. Anyway. Warped planet. That sucked. Oh, and I'm... That's the thing, when you warp back to your planet, so you want to kind of set up as close to your warp in spot as possible. Are you friendly? He looks kind of evil, but he's super friendly. Mm. But yeah, you want to set up camp as close to that as possible, because otherwise you're running halfway across the freaking planet in the middle of the night to get back to your house. But I didn't have much of an option, there wasn't anything near me that I could rely on. These guys are not friendly. Ha! Yeah. But yeah, it's actually kind of hard to tell who's going to be friendly and who's not, even if you've played the game before. Because, like, it's all randomly generated and stuff, so... You could have a friendly alien on one planet and then have a very similar looking one, or the same one on another planet that'll just kill you. So, it is difficult to tell. That's the guy that sounds like a sheep. Yeah. Come here, stupid. Killed you that time. Alright, I'm not going to worry about collecting bandage stuff right now. We have 43, so right now I'm just going to get back home. Which is going to take for freaking ever. Oh my god. There's home. Okay. Our trees have grown in. That's nice. And the wheat has grown. It takes two wheat to make a bread. And we have to have wooden planks. Here, let me take food. I think, yeah, wooden cooking table. We need copper bars, wooden planks. Craft that. And we'll lay that down, I guess, at the end of the farm for now. We'll make some bread. So I think you can eat the wheat by itself, but I'm not sure. We can plant some more, though. One. Perfect. And we can craft some more bandages, too. Alright, we have 56 bandages. A little bit of meat to eat. If you want to know how full you are or how hungry you are, hit the Alt key. And that'll tell you. Here's some Bone Boo. So we'll replant those right away. I actually kind of like gardening in this game. It's pretty fun. And let's put away our Holiday Spirit. I'll show you guys what the Holiday Spirit is used for. Um, the Holiday Season is over, but I'll show you anyway. I'm not sure if they're going to keep that, or if they're going to get rid of it, and then introduce it next Holiday Season. I'm not sure. But I will show you what it is used for. You make this Toy Maker's Table, which just uses wood planks. And then you can make Christmas-related stuff, a Santa Claus outfit, stuff like that. I'm not going to worry about doing any of that Christmas is over, so I'll focus on other things. <clears throat> I guess for right now, the garden's doing good. We can go cut down crap. Hold on. Let's kill these guys. Just die. There we go. So we can go cut down some of these trees back here. And then 
when we get some, when we find some iron, we're gonna start making some, some really cool stuff, some armor and stuff. We just gotta get an anvil. All right, I'm gonna eat a bandage, bandage, bandage. Can't freaking talk today. <laughs> And yes, I said eat. You basically, it's the same animation as when you eat something, so... I just call it eating a bandage. And then I'm gonna plant some more trees here. I'm gonna extend it out a little bit further, too. Using some dirt or something. Yeah, using some dirt. We'll extend this out. I guess, like... Right there? Maybe? That's good. And we will plant... Wait. You go back here. The way I organize stuff in this makes no sense, I'm sure. Um, okay, we're going to plant these guys. We're going to have a huge tree farm. This is probably the best way to do it, instead of relying on trees elsewhere. And also... Um, I can't remember what I was going to say. That's been happening to me a lot today. Put that away, though. I'll keep the bone boot on me and the bread on me. What was I going to say? Oh, also, you can smelt. Here, let's get to the smelter, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. You can take unrefined wood, put it in here, and smelt it to turn it into coal if you need coal. And you need a lot of coal as fuel to get from Tier 1 to Tier 2 and Tier 2 to Tier 3. So on and so forth. But it uses 10 wood each time. So it, it uses a lot of wood to make a little bit of coal. It's 10 wood for one coal. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. Hopefully you've been enjoying the series. I am having a lot of fun with it. Be sure to like and comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check us out on Facebook, Google+, and Twitter. And I will see you guys next time. Yeah.